Hello, Farlanders. My name is Kurt. Welcome back to Farlands or Bust. That's right. Another episode of Farlands or Bust being recorded live on Twitch during the Flobathon Subathon 2023 Athon. Day 46 <laughs> of the subathon as we are going to continue on west towards the far lands here in minecraft beta 173 like i said for episode 846 the third episode the third mid subathon flabathon episode this one is going to be coming out on friday may 5th 2023 one for each month of the subathon uh, and as you can see on the timer, there's two hours remaining. There are a simple, minuscule two hours remaining in the subathon. We've been here before many times. We've been here before. Um, but I figured it's time to record yet another episode for you YouTube watchers and podcast listeners. Uh, just before we started this episode, the world save, if you will believe it, is at 51,000. 751.73 megabytes. As somebody pointed out, all odd numbers on that one. But uh, a very large amount of world size has been added simply during this subathon, flabathon. Um, and, and some things have happened since the last episode. The last episode was recorded back in, in the wee innocent days when I thought that this was just allergies. Um, turns out it wasn't just allergies, and it continues not to be just allergies. Although there might be allergies just sprinkled in there for, for fun. Um, turned out I got COVID. Kurt J. Mack, the last remaining soul who still wears a mask everywhere he goes, into grocery stores and other public indoor areas. Finally, on, uh, on the cusp of the, the national emergency being declared over, finally got COVID. Um, and that knocked me out. So yes, it's day... It's day 46. Wait. 45? Careful, Wolfie. How did you even do that? I've already forgotten what day it is. The brain fog, as you can tell, is still with me. Uh, day 46, question mark, of the Flabathon. Um, we have not been doing this every day. Uh, because I did take a full week off um, after I determined I got COVID. Because it was that Wednesday that I started feeling weird. And I'm like, uh-oh, allergies. And then Thursday, we recorded the previous episode that came out on that Friday. And it was Thursday night into Friday when I got really sick overnight. I had the super chills. And I was, like, shaking feverishly. I had a high fever. And then I took a COVID test. After taking a COVID test on Wednesday... Just to be sure, I took a, a test on Friday and it came back positive. Still a lot of people making the, oh, you're pregnant joke with the COVID test. Real, real hilarious. <laughs> it's really not, not tiring or anything. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's what happened. So I remember I did say some things in that last episode, like, oh, on Friday we'll... We'll auction off the paintings. Uh, I never went live on Friday. Look at this person is losing this this game of Tetris. <laughs> right here <laughs> is what this looks like. Um, neat. Whoa. Uh, so yeah, I was feeling down in the dumps. For quite a few days. And then the girlfriend ended up catching it. Which is just bizarre. 
because the girlfriend is, is going to school every day and had a summer job and everything and never brought it home and gave it to me, but somehow I ended up getting it and then giving it to the girlfriend. And then, uh, she got it pretty bad. She never got a chance to get the second or the, the most recent, like, Omicron uh, uh, vaccine. I did. Well, I don't know that... Like, that changed our the way we handled it. Uh, but the girlfriend had it, and I'm still, like, I'm having, like, good days and bad days. And the girlfriend notes that it seems to be accordance with the, with the, with the weather. Like, this Monday I was just feeling gross, so I didn't stream. Uh, Wednesday I didn't stream because it was super nice out. It was, like, 75 degrees and sunny, and I wanted to, like, actually enjoy the day. So I, I washed the hearse, I watered some plants, spent some time outside with Juno. Um, but then today I'm just feeling like a, a, a general uncomfortable nausea. And every day I've been waking up with an unproductive cough. And I still have the voice, as you can plainly tell, hopefully. Um, if you're hearing, if you're hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth, I still have the, the sickness voice. That hasn't gone away. Uh, the girlfriend is feeling better, but again, it's taken a long time. She still has a cough. She had a thing where her skin hurt, which I guess, and then she looked up, is like a potential symptom. Like her skin felt, you know, like she, she brushed up against like a spiny plant, but her like whole skin. She was like asking me if there was like red marks, and I'm like, no, nothing, but it was just like skin pain. And joint pain, which is really weird. It's almost like an allergic reaction, a, a histamine reaction to the COVID. But she was out for a good three or four days where she just slept the whole day. Uh, I spent a couple days on the couch and in the bed. And then she had to miss a whole week of school. So yeah, I mean, I already talked about this to the live stream audience, so hi. But I figured, I figured it's the most uh, relevant thing to bring everybody up to speed who watches just the episodes or the podcasts. Yeah, I don't. Also, yeah, I'm I'm trying to take it easy, even though it's I it, I'm super bummed. Like, we are as as you see, sub two hours on the on the flabathon subathon. We already we dropped down to thirteen minutes at some point, but that got quickly reversed. We did auction off. The Bob Ross painting, so that helped. But I'm like, if it does end today or soon, I'm kind of like bummed that it. We were on such like a roll. We were streaming every day, uh, and then to have it like cut her out like this because I'm sick and like just gross. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like it has had the same energy as we went into it the last two months with it. Um. Other people are saying before when it rains or before it rains, they feel weird sick after if after they've had COVID. Yeah, I don't want that's I mean, I'm fully vaccinated and boosted and I'm 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 a healthy, healthy lad. So in general, like, oh, you shouldn't be worried about COVID, but it's still you're always you're, you're rolling the dice on either getting like a bad case of COVID or getting stuck with long COVID for the rest of your freaking life, regardless of who you are, as we've seen happen to some popular uh, YouTubers out there uh, and other people. And like, there's people that we know that are like, oh, I've had it three times and are kind of like lackadaisy and flippant about it. And it's like, I like just get, getting it once. Stop it. No, I don't I don't care to be rolling these particular set of dice. Yeah, and then like I'm just concerned about who I spread it to. And how many of those people get XYZ. 
or whatever, which nobody else seems to care about. But uh, it, we're, we're considering the possibility that we got it because we washed Juno at a at a, uh, a dog like a self serve dog wash place, uh, and I that's like the only place I didn't wear a mask, um, and that was on Sunday, and then I started feeling it on that Wednesday, and that seems like kind of the perfect place for anything like that to kind of fester a humid place. Kind of closed in. I was there. We're there for maybe, you know, less than an hour or whatever. We recorded the video. Maybe we can review the vlog. <laughs> maybe we review the vlog and note the particular breath that I took that inhaled the COVID particulates. Anyway, let's go to sleep and continue with these particulates in the morning. <sighs> And awakeness. And awakeness. True. And then that Wednesday, that Wednesday, I did do the basement camping. So it perhaps distracted or weakened my immune system with the poor night's sleep enough that allowed the COVID to flourish. I don't know. There's no set. Nobody's tracking it anymore. Nobody's... If, if you haven't... Uh, that's one of the things I most recently did, because all of our COVID tests are, like, expired, but they still work. Um, is, at least if you're in the U.S., request your, uh, another set. Even if you've gotten the sets prior, um, you're still due, like, a certain amount of sets of COVID tests for free. Um, request those before May 11th. Because May 11th is when the emergency is over, and then those are no longer going to be free. Same thing with the, uh, the vaccines and stuff. I mean, I wonder if the girlfriend can get the most recent vaccine. If she had COVID within the last month. I don't know if that's possible. I still don't even know what's happened. With like the pricing on the vaccine or whatever, they wanted to make it 150 bucks. Oh, insurance might give you free tests. Walgreens is giving them away for free. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hopefully there's stuff that figures stuff out. But the people in charge seem to have simply abandoned us in favor of the economy. I'm looking forward to dying for the economy. Yeah, I mean, I had an uncle die and my aunt, who was his wife, like nearly did as well in the hospital. Um, so it's all just a bunch of balls. Just a real tip of the cap to the whole to the whole situation. Um, but anyway, I'm getting better. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. Um, We are recording an episode right now, for those of you tuning into the Twitch. Episode 846. An update for the episode viewers and podcast listeners is well overdue. Especially if this imminently is the final hour and 45 minutes. Oh, who knows? Wait, you release a podcast version? Yes, every episode, every official episode, not the streams, but the episodes are available in podcast format using your favorite podcast listening device. Yeah. 
Apple Podcasts, Android Podcasts. All those all those areas. Um but yeah, what is I'm asking chat now, what is what are some things that since a few weeks ago have happened in Far Lands or Bust here? I mean, not much, I suppose, since one of those weeks I was near death. <laughs> um No, we rode the pig already. We had rode we had rode in the pig. Oh, we built the uh, the Lego International Space Station. We did that. That happened. I do need to start. I it's gone on so long that some of the uh, the old vods are going to start to expire on Twitch. So I got to highlight. I've been highlighting all the Farlands segments for the Flobathon archive, but I've just got to. Like, just highlight from beginning to the end all of the streams, just to commemorate the entirety of the subathon, especially the non far lands parts, the hot wings, the makeup, the costumes, and whatever. Not that people really watch the old VODs on Twitch too much, but they'll be there. Yeah, we built the Lego International Space Station. That only took two streams to do, as opposed to our Gundam, which is going on like 10. <laughs> We've taken a break from it. The Gundam, yes, the Gundam requires very delicate sanding. between each art application. Yeah, there's no sanding needed for Lego. I mean, need is a strong word. I could just leave it all sprue but I'm a perfectionist. Gundam, more like Sandum. <laughs> um... Oh, is that why he's the Sandrock or whatever version of this Gundam? I don't know. Uh, oh, we have tadpoles. The girlfriend's COVID hobby was to collect some eggs from a pond on one of our walks. And now we have, I think, at least ten. We have at least ten tadpoles. She believes they're going to turn into tiny tree frogs uh, of, of, of a local species that she's aware of. Um, oh yeah, they're swimming about. What do you feed tadpoles? Nothing, because they feed off of their egg yolks that remain. Um, but we do have a bunch of... She grabbed pond water. Um, and there's a bunch of little water fleas in there and little wormy guys and mosses and leaves and stuff that they'll eat eventually when they need to start growing. But she wants to get like a small... She's going to release them back into the wild, but she wants to get like a small terrarium. So if anybody in the area has a small... Careful of a small terrarium! that you want to get rid of? I don't know. I was looking at, like, Craigslist. People always selling... There's people always selling stuff on Craigslist. <laughs> I've heard. I do not have Terraria. I've never played Terraria. Yeah, the girlfriend... Definitely did the googling, and she read about the lettuce, so she put a little bit of lettuce in there. But they're not really feeding yet, they're just kind of hanging out. They attach themselves to, like, the glass and just try to appear not alive, so as to avoid getting predatored.
We're also... we're looking for a couch. Since we spent so much time sleeping on it, we, we realized that the couch that we have down here, which is the couch I had in my old places, is, n is not very comfortable for such things as these. Where do people buy furniture anymore? <laughs> that isn't, like, Ikea. We want something nice. A nice lay-down couch. Lay-down, comfortable couch. With, with a high, high comfortable back and, and deep seats for laying down. A furniture store? Yeah, but they're all crappy, aren't they? The Macy's Furniture Store. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten Ashley furniture stuff before. There was a really nice place in Phoenix that was like a big warehouse place that we got our couches when we lived in Phoenix. And they were pretty nice couches, but they were too big for me to bring with. I wish I did bring them with because they're like exactly what we're looking for now. But I was in a panic and just got rid of everything. Gave it away for free. Uh before I moved here to Washington. I also need to find a... Uh, I mean, we found many, but I need to, like, buy. I need to pull the trigger on a on a cart. For the streaming cart. Because I do have some garage streaming I'd like to do. In addition to washing the hearse, we switch the hearse and the, tot the Datsun around in the, in the garage so I can start working on the Datsun. I have all the parts. We gotta start streaming. The whole, the entire suspension rebuild. Not so much rebuild as replacement. Gotta happen. You know what else has gotta happen? We gotta sleep. I also gotta buy a trombone. I had a dream. Where's that person who always asks if I had any dreams last night? I had a dream that I had a trombone and I was trying to learn how to play the trombone. <laughs> uh, in case in case you're wondering where my mind is at. Our, our, our diamond armor! Our brand new diamond armor that we got in the middle of this subathon flabathon. Ain't doing too hot. I'm down to three and a half shirts. Taking a beating. Wait a minute, was I walking the wrong way or something? Why? <laughs> Gotta buy a couch. Gotta draw, draw, draw. I can draw a trombone. Uh, buy a trombone. I gotta get streaming cart. The actual cart for the streaming cart. I already got the laptop. That's right, we got the laptop. That probably happened since the last episode. Um, gotta find a terrarium for our frog lads. For our children. <laughs> um... Also need a new hose. <laughs> I, we, I was doing some watering and we need a new hose. Like a hundred foot hose. Can't neglect your hose. I am not still trying I'm I've I've decided not to correct my north south wander because I was actively trying to correct it, and I overshot it by 29,000 blocks. Remember the last F3 number? Well, I'm thinking if I just don't think about it, 
then I'll re-offset the offset and we'll be back on the zero. That's that's the theory anyway. I mean, it's the gr the girlfriend had one of those like expandable soft hoses, and it sprung many leaks as the as they do. Ooh. She also wants... I, I, we've had this conversation every year. Like, what do we grow in the garden? <laughs> every year. And it doesn't lead us anywhere. <laughs> does it? Uh, it does... It, I, I personally don't know. Like, this is the part that of... Like, I don't... Whoa. I don't mind gardens and stuff, but... The planning part... I don't like. Tomatoes are an obvious. I think we're going to try tomatoes in planters because we put tomatoes in our garden and they literally take over everything and then they suck the soil dry of, of anything for anything else to enjoy. So I think we're going to put our tomatoes in planters to keep them separate. We, we, we had like one year of luck with romaine lettuce, but last year it didn't do any good. And this year, the girlfriend, I think she said she planted some, but they didn't sprout up. I mean, the seeds are starting to get probably kind of old. The girlfriend planted a perimeter of tulip bulbs around our fence. Because apparently moles don't like those keep the mole mole holes down and those came up nicely yeah we've done gumbers and squash last year was a really weird year I don't know why stuff really didn't grow that great lava um we don't really we don't have bunnies around here uh the squirrels do so there are, like, bulbs that are growing in places that we didn't plant them because, like, squirrels took them and relocated them. But no, we don't have bunnies around here. one of those things that I'm like when I'm at the grocery store I know to, what to get I, I mean it would be nice to do like green peppers or like bell peppers but again we tried that one year and they did not grow at all because those I use in like pizza and stuff salads stir fry we have onions. We still have onions growing. Like, the shoots are coming up, but there's no actual, like, onion. Like, the girlfriend thinks maybe she accidentally just made green onions. We demand bulb on bulbous onions. Yeah, we got a lot of, like, strawberries. Really took over one of the uh, above-ground uh, raised beds last year, so we're hoping that this is the year they'll, like, actually produce. But I think we've... We've, uh... We've reprima reprimanded? No, that's not the right word. What What's the word for, like, when you give up something to something that's taken it over? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Relinquish! That's the one! I knew it started with an R. We relinquished the one to the strawberries. And we had some other strawberries in the front that aren't too, doing too good, so I'd like to pluck those, not pluck them, but you know, dig them out and relocate them to hopefully live more fruitful <laughs> lives with the other strawberries that are going crazy. 
Yeah, we did potatoes in a in a Rubbermaid bin last year, and those did pretty good. That that was kind of fun to dig up the potatoes. But again, it's one of those like you can only like you wait all summer, and then you can only get like one batch of potatoes. I mean, I'm sure we could like staggerly grow them, but we're just trying to. We're just trying to make things work once, if if they work at all. Badaitas. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can convince the girlfriend like peppers, like green, green bell bell peppers. I don't know that we have the right climate here for peppers. Yeah, I don't know what else. She also did beans, string beans. Vined up the thing. I guess we should do herbs. Cilantro and whatnot. Because herbs are pretty expensive at the grocery store. And then you buy a whole bundle of cilantro and all you use is like a little handful and then the rest go bad in your refrigerator over the next 12 days. Basil. I mean, we have... there are so many blackberries. <laughs> invasive blackberries around the Seattle area. That we don't need to grow those. They're just growing for free on the sides of roads. Although you don't want to pick the ones on the sides of roads because they've been absorbing pollution and emissions the entire time. Um, and there is there is a blue there's a couple actually blueberry farms around here that you can just pick for for free. Although we did we did plant two blueberry bushes, but again they've not been doing well. Our the ground the soil the ground soil that we have is very not good. So we have to like put good soil in and then stuff doesn't grow. Very dense and dead. It's dirt. It's not soil, it's dirt. The girlfriend taught me the difference because she took a soils class. Dill? Mm, I don't know if I like dill. Did you snore at your last elevated hidey hole? I sure did. I'm pretty sure I did. Find something unusual, like lingonberries? I think those just grow wild around here too, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, yeah, no, cilantro is on the list. Wolfie, careful. Care I don't know. Like I said, I'm just really not into the whole planning of gardening stuff. I just, like, once stuff is planted, I'm like, I'll water it. I'm down with watering it. Apples? <laughs> we don't have 20 years to grow an apple orchard in our backyard. No. Oh. Dirt is just dead dirt. Soil is dirt that has organic matter in it that actually is what stuff grows in. That's the difference. We have a lot of dirt. All right, I guess I should make a shovel while I'm at it too, huh? Do that. We had we did have a few resubs. Oh, we had a tip. 
Wait, that's why. I'm like, I looked at the clock. I'm like, wait a minute. How come there's only an hour and 31 minutes left on the clock? We had a big tip from Kark. Thank you for the top tip of the day. I did just make a stone pickaxe, didn't I? Oh, well. <laughs> I like to mix things up a bit. Oh, and I ran out of torches. Listen, it's the COVID after effects. My brain slowly been deprived of oxygen. Torches, torches, torches! Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this episode, episode 846 of Far Lands or Bust. Hopefully, you've been able to catch some of the streams, some of the Flamathon uh, as well. Uh, but if not, that's fine, too. I hope you enjoyed. We'll be pressing F3, perhaps in 90 minutes, or perhaps not. Um, and I'm sure you'll hear about that, whether or not it happens. Well, whether it happens, probably won't hear about anything if it doesn't happen, because then nothing happened. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time. We demand bulbous onions.